Chef Buff Army. I get this question a lot. What do you take, Chef Buff, pre-workout? Today, I'm going to show you what I actually take pre-workout. But I should preface this video. Literally every single ingredient I'm about to show you does not have to be taken pre-workout. In other words, my pre-workout mix is merely for convenience more than anything else. I could pretty much take any of these supplements first thing in the morning. A great mental mindset going into the gym is the best thing you could do pre-workout to get your head right. Sometimes I take pre-workout supplements and I don't even work out. Let's get right down to it. In my pre-workout mix, there are six supplements. The first and most important one that I use is creatine. It's not necessary to take a pre-workout. I just do it because I take all of my other powders pre-workout. I actually have a video on creatine that you can watch right over here. Suffice to say, it has a lot of research showing that it helps increase your performance, allowing you to lift more reps and become slightly stronger. Second most important supplement, beta alanine. Get my tingly sensation pre-workout. I take five grams. Beta alanine has been shown to help you increase the amount of volume and reps that you could do in a workout. Those are really the only two supplements I recommend and you don't even have to take them pre-workout. The third supplement I use is citrulline malate. I've been using this since about April and honestly guys, unless more research is done, I'm considered not supplementing with it because there's not a lot of evidence showing a positive effect when it comes out to your workout performance. The theory behind citrulline malate is relatively solid. And if you remember from beta alanine, up until maybe three, four years ago, there was not a lot of research done on it showing its positive effects. Throughout the years, however, there are dozens of studies since done on beta alanine showing its effects. I'm hoping that within the next maybe six to eight months, some solid research will be done on citrulline malate, otherwise it has a very likely chance of being eliminated from my pre-workout supplement. The fourth supplement I actually just started with in September is L-tyrosine. Now tyrosine is usually paired together with caffeine. I can't handle caffeine at all on my system. I have an extremely sensitive stomach. The reason why I'm currently looking into taking L-tyrosine has to do with immune function. Repeated belts, a high intensity exercise can actually weaken your immune system. I'm taking tyrosine then, not as, you know, looking to increase my workout performance, but more as a health benefit. Supplement three, citrulline malate, is not something I currently recommend because there's not a lot of research behind it. L-tyrosine is something that I'm personally using, and once again, therefore, for the general population, I wouldn't necessarily recommend. The last two supplements I take is just a simple carbohydrate and a protein powder. And the reason I take this is not to help increase, you know, muscular recovery or get more gains. It's simply due to the fact that I want to keep my blood sugar stable as I work out. Because when I work out, there's usually a long gap from when I go to work out, when I'm done working out, to when I get home and I can actually eat my next meal. Meal, maybe three, four, five hours. And if you know my workouts, I do a full workout and I usually do some anabolic cardio and that can be incredibly taxing on your body. That is why both myself and a lot of athletes will take a simple carbohydrate sip throughout the workout to help keep the blood sugar stable. And honestly, for the sixth one, the protein powder, as you know, I take a little bit more than one gram per pound of body weight of protein powder a day. I like to space out my protein powder, once again, due to gastric issues in my stomach. So I usually just take one scoop mixed with everything else. Guys, I'm not recommending these supplements. I'm telling you currently what I'm taking. I'm experimenting. That is exactly what I take pre-workout. Share your own pre-workout mix in the comment section below. That is the video, guys. I hope you learned something. If you didn't, I got a very cool Akira backdrop that you probably were staring at over the last several minutes. Make sure, as always, to like, share with friends, and subscribe. And Chef Butt Farming, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Yo, a bodybuilder friend of mine said that the best pre-workout supplement is Kool-Aid. Yeah, no, yeah, seriously. Then he offered to sell me some for $10. Yeah. Then it got kind of weird, though. He said for 50 bucks, he'd strip in front of me. For 75 bucks, he'd jump out of a birthday cake and sing me happy birthday.